Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion and we're just gonna dive right into it. We've got crude oil right behind me. Uh, so crude oil getting some stronger selling pressure today, uh, heading lower, uh, kind of like I thought. I mean, whenever I see this large selling pressure, the candlesticks come up and bounce and they contract in size and then they head lower again. Uh, I, I'm gonna wait to add anything in here uh, until we get a, a clear bottom. A clear bottom is when you get a bullish engulfing like this right there. That's a good sign to be buying into it. You head on higher and we're doing these short-term uh, movements here. But uh, overall, you know, I, I'm waiting for some buyers to step in. Uh, I'm gonna wait for this momentum to dissipate. I think it's gonna take a little bit. Natural gas selling off quite hard. Uh, big momentum heading lower. I'm not jumping in front of this train. Uh, but I will uh, watch, especially if we get down to this area at the 450 range. I will see where you know some of the companies that I really like and see what they're doing, because I might add into them uh, when they're down there. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me, selling off a little bit today, not looking too horrible. But again, I'm not jumping in front of this this train that's coming momentum wise. I'm just going to let it dissipate, and we got these small gap lower down days sideways momentum so that's sm energy uh cdv they're all they're all basically the same it's a, it's like they they just all trade roughly the same uh there is cdv heading a little bit lower uh, crew energy another one heading a little bit lower uh and we're above support in a lot of these cpe heading lower there's a support line going across there at 35 bucks uh ath holding up strong Still, we've got these large uh, selling candlesticks that are starting to appear. And I, I do think that there might be some further downside uh, if the sellers want step to step in here and, and sell, some, sell it down some more. A uh, recaf heading a little bit lower. Uh, we've got Crescent Point Energy. Again, we got that bearish engulfing here. It gapped lower and then the buyers came in. There is support right underneath it. Uh, Northern Oil and Gas selling off right on support. GTE selling off a little bit. Again, uh, big momentum coming down, smaller upside pressure, and I think we'll continue to head a little bit lower. Uh, Tellurian right on support. Uh, Pedevco right on support. Uh, Oasis selling down a little bit, and this could drop further. Uh, this does not look like it's done to me. It looks like it's finishing quite strong. The volume's starting to kick up a little bit. We could see further downside in the short term. CRK selling off a little bit more. Again, I think further downside in the short term. Uh, SD right on support almost. Uh, Ring Energy further downside. It is selling off. We get these bearish engulfing. That's a continuation pattern of the downside. We've got uh, Surge Energy selling off a little bit. A little hammer pattern. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy, again, whenever you get this large momentum and then, this, uh, then a weaker bounce, I do think that we'll head a little bit lower. Uh, Crescent Energy, uh, gap lower in the morning. Vermilion Energy, VET, right on support. Uh, Meg Energy, selling off a little bit with some buying pressure throughout the day. Again, I got to see buyers step in here and show me. I'm just kind of looking to see if I see a pattern that looks like that. Uh, similar. We'll see. But I do think that it could potentially head lower in a lot of these. Uh, OIH, uh, very similar to the exploration companies. Large downside momentum. We came and did a bounce, but I still think we've got some uh, further downside to this. Uh, it's same with uh, TTI, almost like it's one of these guys going on, head and shoulder type pattern, eventually forming. Uh, rig selling off. We've got pump uh, selling off here. Again, I, I'm not jumping in front of this. I want to see more buying pressure. Uh, Exterion, EXTN, Exterion Corporation, uh, sideways down, uh, sideways day. Valeris getting more selling pressure. This could head a little bit lower to the downside. I'm not getting in front of it. MMA Offshore starting to get in the selling pressure just like the rest. Uh, Tidewater selling off 3.3% lower. Heading down a little bit, we've got next steer oil field solutions. Again, is this kind of that, that pattern that you see? 
Might head a little bit lower. Uh, Clixi getting some selling pressure there right back to this kind of support area coming across. Champion X uh, selling off, but momentum's higher. Uh, Cactus Energy, again, too much selling pressure here. The momentum's too strong. I think we're going to go sideways to slightly lower. That's what I'm seeing. Nine. Looks like it's just basing out there. That one doesn't look as bad. OII, eh, a little bit of buying pressure there uh, at the end of the day. Uh, Noble Energy right back to support level. And we maybe this is a break and then a retest of that break. We'll see. Helix Energy Solutions, gapped lower. Buyers came in, bought it up throughout the day. Uh, Petrofac down. Uh, and then Diamond Offshore getting some selling pressure down to 5.89. Again, I'm not jumping in front of this. I'm letting the momentum carry it lower. And then it's got to turn around and the buyers have to step back in for me uh, to get bullish on this again. Uh, so I'm just waiting. Again, I'm not selling anything. I'm just waiting uh, to add money in. I'm going to wait for this momentum to dissipate. It may take some time. It may take some time, but uh, right now it is heading lower and we're just gonna have to be patient. We're gonna have to wait. Uh, do I think that the market conditions are broken for oil? No, we never got to a very expensive uh, case. I think the fundamentals are still good. If we were to look at an oil ratio real quick, uh, I can do that, a gold to oil ratio. The, the gold to oil ratio is at six, uh, almost 17. and it is coming back up a little bit. We may even go all the way back to 20, about 20-ish. <clears throat> Trying to get a little bit bigger viewpoint here on the gold to oil ratio. Uh, but up here is, is incredibly cheap. That's a great time to buy. Great time to buy. Great time to buy. Uh, great time to buy. And we're coming all the way down and we're starting to uh, come back up. And then we might hit that, that resistance line and come back lower. Uh, so that's kind of what I think might happen. We got a lot of people are scared in this market right now. They are scared. And they're selling things. I'm not going to sell anything. The market conditions and fundamentals are still good. So again, I think we're going to head lower eventually. Uh, except in the short, short term, we might head higher, hit this guy, and then head back down. Bounce around a little bit. A lot of fear in the market about recession. Uh, that's not positive for oil uh, and the companies. So people are getting scared. They're selling. And I'm not going to uh, sell out. I know some people, oh, you could have a 40 or 50% pullback. Well, I mean, that's what I'm going to ride through. I've already created the strategy before this. I'm a long-term investor. I don't trade in and out of these things. All I'm doing is I'm trying to time my buys as best I can. And I know the fundamentals in oil and natural gas are both very good. And you're going to say, well, why are they going down in the short term? That's how markets work. They don't go up straight. You're going to have to go through 40%, 50% pullbacks, uh, which are pretty normal. Even in big uh, secular bull markets, you're still going to see these pullbacks. And that's the downside to commodities if you don't like volatility. It's the volatility. But uh, right now, with a 16, 17 ratio of gold to oil, it's still you know, average to slightly cheap. 15 is average. Uh, expensive is something below 10. So the, the, the ratio is still there. Uh, it's still doing all right, but short term, I still see weakness. If you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribe to the website, Platinum Membership, if you want to learn more and have more financial education uh, about technical analysis, fundamentals, and all that stuff. Uh, but we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.